name is Michael McCarthy. Name of the restaurant is Jim and Rob's Fresh Grill and Lisa's Cantina. And I am a longtime friend of Rob. I've uh, known him since he opened 25 years ago. The work environment at Jim and Rob's is probably one of the best I've, I've seen. We have a great staff. Some of them have been here since he opened 25 years ago. It's always busy, it's always fun. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, give and take with the customers and laughing and telling stories. It's, uh, it's just an all around pleasant experience to be here and to be a part of it because we really are a family here. It's a place where you bring your kids, your wife, your cousins. It's, it's just an amazing place to sit and have consistently good food. Anytime you come, there's always a, a, a wonderful ambiance of camaraderie, friendships, family. It's, it's, it's really an amazing place to come and eat. It's, uh, if you live in Ojai, pretty much it's everybody who lives in Ojai comes here. Rob Tucker, who's the owner, his family has been here since uh, 1895. Um, so he's got deep roots here. The photos on the wall uh, tell a, a wonderful story of them being here and uh, uh, his grandfather being a district attorney in Ventura. Uh, uh, all the different uh, locales when they were just outbuildings uh, are on the walls here. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's an amazing place to come and see it. It's like being in a historical museum, but it serves really good food. <laughs> it's delicious. Um, <laughs> Jim and Rob's is a, a, a Mexican style restaurant. They have uh, great foods, uh, um, uh, great burgers, great sandwiches. It's all fresh, it's, you know, fresh lettuce. The salsas are made fresh every day. The chicken is grilled fresh every day, and, and it's consistent, it's consistent in the goo. He tries to use the freshest ingredients, the best tomatoes, the best guacamole you've had. Uh, everything is, is just fabulous. It's, it's, I've never heard anybody uh, say that they've had a bad meal. It's just a consistently good way to eat. You know what you're going to get when you come in. We don't serve fast food, but we serve healthy food as fast as we can. And that's been a fact for 25 years. Well, it's a guilty pleasure, but it is the uh, deep fried burrito. Our chimichangas here are, I don't even have a word for it. it. It will gobsmack you. It is just wonderful. I always have it with El Pastor. It's topped with guacamole, sour cream, pico de gallo, and it is just cooked to perfection. And it's, it's, it's a meal for two, but, um, or a midnight snack, like I might have every now and then. Rob Tucker is probably one of the most generous men I know. He will do a fundraiser from a certain time, say forward to close, where anybody who comes in and buys anything, they will get a, a certain percentage of those funds for the night. That includes Lisa's Cantina. That's, that's huge, that's huge. During Christmas and the holidays, he will donate gift cards so that the homeless can come in and get a good meal. That's huge. Uh, all the athletic programs, all, all of um, uh, Rotary, uh, uh, Ojai Music Festival, uh, you name it, you name it. I've never seen this man tell somebody that he's given too much and turn them away, never. Back in 2016, Rob noticed that there was something missing in our town. And because this town has a lot of sports enthusiasts, people are really into the high school games and even Ventura and surrounding areas, they're all, they're all part of that. So we, he saw that there, we needed a place for people to go to watch sports, talk about sports, uh, but not be a boys club. He wanted to make sure that it was all family friendly, that you could bring the girls uh, after soccer practice and talk about the games and, and have little rallies here. We've opened a new patio on the outside of the cantina so that we can bring that experience out there. Added a large screen TV outside. When this valley was on fire, it was the worst thing I've ever experienced in my lifetime, not to mention to a community that I care about. 
So to have him stay open, which was, as far as I know, the only place that was open that people could come because either they had no power, they couldn't cook, um, they just needed a place to get away and, and just get away from how serious everything was. He was here, he was open, he never shut, never shut down. When people were leaving town and stuff, they literally were grabbing food to go and he was here for them. And we were passing out masks, we were giving bottles of water, uh, the firemen that were coming in, we were feeding them. And the people who did come here, they were buying for the firemen too. That's a community. It was a beautiful thing to see, the outpouring of love, realizing these guys are, are um, putting their lives on the line, protecting the houses, you know, and, and I know some of the places did burn, but um, you wouldn't have found a more dedicated uh, group of people here and the community showing an outpouring of love for them. Uh, he had an infrastructure in place for takeout and was able to quickly adapt to delivery to help people who couldn't leave the home. And, and we offered them contactless delivery and online ordering. Uh, uh, you name it, we adapted because he cares about the people here and he knows people need to eat. They, they can't go to the market. We're afraid to go to the markets. It's, it's, it was really an amazing thing to see how he still is keeping up with everything, keeping people safe. And that's the number one thing about uh, being here. He keeps people safe. He gives them an environment to feel safe when they bring their families, and they're still bringing families here, but they feel safe when they're doing it. So that's, that's an amazing thing. There are things that I've only seen happen in Ojai that you don't see in other places. I will run into somebody from out of town, and uh, they say, you know, I'm walking down the street. He goes, is everybody that friendly here? I, I don't know them, and they're, they're saying good morning to me. How you doing? I mean, they're, they're totally in shock. And I think that's the great thing about Ojai is um, you're like a family here.